Hello, and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Ravi H. You know, I really have found reading the book of Leviticus extremely interesting. Some of the rules contained in this book I had forgotten about since the last time I had read it. It strikes me how quick some people are to judge others for breaking the rules of sexual immorality, and they are to judge them for having a shave or a haircut. Anyway, it's Leviticus 20 today. Let us open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Leviticus, chapter 20 Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Moreover, you shall tell the children of Israel, anyone of the children of Israel, or of the strangers who live as foreigners in Israel, who gives any of his offspring to Molech, he shall be surely put to death. The people of the land shall stone him with stones. I also will set my face against that person, and will cut him off from among his people, because he has given of his offspring to Molech, to defile my sanctuary and to profane my holy name. If the people of the land all hide their eyes from that person when he gives of his offspring to a Molech, and don't put him to death, I will set my face against that man, and against his family, and will cut him off. And all who play the prostitute after him, to play the prostitute with Molech from among their people. The person that turns to those who are mediums and to the wizards to play the prostitute after them, I will even set my face against that person and will cut him off from among his people. Sanctify yourselves therefore and be holy, for I am Yahweh your God. You shall keep my laws and do them. I am Yahweh who declares you holy. For everyone who curses his father or his mother shall surely be put to death. He has cursed his father or his mother. His blood shall be upon him. The man who commits adultery with another man's wife, even he who commits adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress shall be surely put to death. The man who lies with his father's wife has brought shame upon his father. Both of them shall be surely put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. If a man lies with his daughter-in-law, both of them shall surely be put to death. They have committed a perversion. Their blood shall be upon them. If a man lies with a male, as he would with a woman, both of them are committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. If a man takes wife and her mother, it is wickedness. They shall be burned with fire both he and they, that there may be no wickedness amongst you. If a man lies with an animal, he shall be surely put to death, and you shall kill the animal. If a woman approaches then an animal, and lies down with it, you shall kill the woman and the animal. They shall be surely put to death, their blood shall be upon them. If a man takes his sister, his father's daughter, or his mother's daughter, and has sex with her, and she has sex with him, it is a shameful thing. They shall be cut off in the sight of the children of their people. He has had sex with his sister. He shall bear his wickedness. If a man lies with a woman, having a monthly period, and has sex with her, he has uncovered the source of her pleading, and she has made known the source of her pleading. Both of them shall be cut off from among their people. You shall not have sex with your mother's sister. Nor of your father's sister, for he has had sex with his close relative. They shall bear their wickedness. If a man lies with his uncle's wife, he has brought shame to their uncle. They shall bear their sin. They shall die childless. If a man takes his brother's wife, it is an impurity. He has brought shame to their brother. They shall be childless. You shall therefore keep all my laws and all my practices and do them that the land where I am bringing you to dwell may not vomit you out. You shall not walk in the customs of the nation which I am casting up before you. For they did all these things, and therefore I hated them. For I have said to you, you shall inherit their land, and I will give it to you to possess it, a land flowing with milk and honey. I am Yahweh your God, who has separated you from the peoples. You shall therefore make a distinction between the clean animal and the unclean, and between the unclean fowl and the clean. 
You should not make yourselves abominable by an animal, or by a bird, or by anything with which to go on teams, which I have separated from you as unclean for you. You shall be holy to me, for I, Yahweh, am holy, and I have set you apart from the peoples, that you should be mine. A man or woman that is a medium, or is a wizard, shall surely be put to death. They shall stone them with stones. Their blood shall be upon them.